Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Readiness Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I will be taking you through a part of the Drone to Design workflow that we've put together. In this video, we will be talking about point cloud creation using Recap 360. To give you a bit of background about this project, we have flown and captured photos of a 20-acre site that is going to be designed for a residential subdivision. This process will work for other types of civil engineering projects, not just residential. So let's get started. We will start by going out to recap360.autodesk.com and this is what you'll see here on the screen. You'll see the recap site. This is really a pretty simple process to bring the images in and start to create a project. Uh, we'll talk real quickly about why these images are different than other images that you take with like your cell phone or another type of camera. Uh, these particular images were flown with a drone and captured with a Sony camera on the drone. In this particular instance, different drones have different cameras, so you're still gonna see the information that you're gonna see here on this image. If I go to the properties of one of my images that was flown, you can see here in the details tab, there's a lot of information that's added to this image. It's not just what kind of image, you know, maybe a name, things of that nature, but it actually, if you scroll down, the key information that you're wanting to know is that it does have GPS location on all of these images. So if we don't have survey control, we still have control of some sort here with the lat long that's added to the images themselves. So that's kind of what differentiates this set of images from an image that comes from like your cell phone or something of that nature. So what we will do is we'll start off by creating a photo to 3D project. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop my pictures from Windows Explorer here. These are the set of pictures that I have. Um, one thing to note, you can have these images on your A360 drive and access them through your A360 drive instead of dragging and dropping them from your local machine. Uh, today we're just going to drag and drop them from our local machine. So I will select all of my images and just drag them and drop them on the screen. We could create this project three different ways. We could actually just hit settings here and continue on through the process and let it generate the cloud without any control of any type. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through the survey settings real quick because we do have control for this site. So I'm going to select survey settings and it brings up two different views of the images. So what we're going to do, we have control that's out there on this site and I can show you real quickly where that control came from. If I open up my civil 3D drawing that the control came from, you can see this is the 20 acre site and here are my control points. So these control points are were actually surveyed control points and I can look at the points here and show you they have a northing easting and an elevation of course a description. So always remember that the easting is X, northing is Y. All right, That's going to be key whenever we punch this information in uh, for the survey control. So this is where I got the information. So we'll close that for now. And we will start off. So you do need to be a little familiar with the images and how they were shot. The reason why is so that you know where your control's at, because the images might not be flown exactly uh, the way that you saw the civil 3D drawing, meaning uh, north to south, east to west. You, you may have to orient yourself a little bit different. So just be sure to familiarize yourself with the project before you start stitching these photos together. So I'm simply going to select one of my photos where I know there's a target and I'm going to find my target. So you can see right here, you can see that there's an X. That X is one of my targets. So I'm going to select that X and then I'm going to go here to the right and I'm going to pick another photo that's got that X in it. All right? And I will select my second target. I'll choose a different photo. I'll select another photo that has the X in my target. And as long as we have at least three photos that we're, that we're adding control to, and we're in the green here in our little circle, then we should be good to go. Uh, ultimately, we would like to have four images that we set the control to at each point, but three will, will work in this particular instance. After we've set our control and we've told it that these three images need to be stitched together according to these points, then what we can do is we can set actual survey control. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just hover over my number one here. You can see it's a little bit, uh, you got to kind of have a steady hand. So now we can enter in the X, Y, and Z. All right, one thing to understand, if you see here in Civil 3D, all right, we brought up, I'll bring up that control point. So I'm going to look at that control point. We have the easting and northing. This is in Imperial units. In order for Recap 360 to use this as control, we have to convert this to metric units. The way that you convert that is you take this number for the northing, that would be the X, say 653047.6860, multiply that by 0 0.3048. That's the Imperial to metric conversion. Hit enter, and here is your actual easting or X location for that point. You have to do this for all of your control points in order for it to work correctly. So I've already got these converted. I'm going to go ahead and punch one of these in. So 199.048.9347. I'll hit my tab key. 193.157.2707. I'll hit my tab key again and put in my elevation, which is 374.00. You only have to enter it on one point okay so we set three but you only enter it here on one and you can see it carries over to the other ones after we got the first point set we'll go back and we'll select our next location so the next location if we look here in civil 3d is going to be this location here in the southeast corner of the property so I can I know that my location is right in this area of my X so I can see it barely right there so I'm gonna go ahead and pick another photo and I'll go ahead and select this one and I can see the X perfectly alright so it still says one alright so I'm gonna hit choose a different photo and I'll go ahead and select a different image for this area and notice it goes ahead and switches to point number two if I hit the or go ahead and select the first X and then I zoom in on my second image and pick the second X I'm starting to to coordinate these a little bit I'll go ahead and pick another photo I'll pick the one right next to it zoom in and select the X again and I'll do the same thing for that image here so I can still see it right here so I'll select that and I'll come back and I'll add my survey information again 199 179.3811 again this is the the converted coordinate information so 193.151.0104 and my elevation is 374.98 all right now this this would be done for all locations that we have control so we have control in the north side on the east and west side of the property and on the south side on the east and the west side so we would go ahead and go through that process for the rest of the control points once we have that done we would hit settings and we would go ahead and select the ultra quality all right now you do need to understand that uh, customers are going to have cloud credits taken from them um, whenever they use this feature in Recap 360. So as of now, this is internal, so it's it's not charging me any cloud credits. But just do be aware that they will be charged cloud credits. So I'm just going to name this, and we'll call this uh, Cap uh, Sony 350 um, with Survey Control. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and drop down through the different toggles. We can leave smart cropping off, smart texture off. We do want to turn on this particular feature, the Nader. We want to turn that and set it to on. This gives some advanced optimization to the aerial photography, and it reads the GPS data for further accuracy off the images. So we can then select our format. I just We've got all these different files that it will build for us. It will build the RCM. It'll build the uh, OBJ file, uh, FBX, RCS, and ortho image. Okay, we're going to have it build the RCS file, which is the recap format file, and the ortho image. 
Now, once we hit create, this is going to push a project to A360. It'll be your A360 account, so you'll be able to access this through your A360 drive. And we would go ahead and hit create, and it pushes the images to the cloud. We don't have to sit here and watch this. We can click dashboard, and you'll be able to see that we are actually pushing the images right here, so it's going to give you a meter kind of to see how far your upload has gone. You will have to wait. The results vary on how fast these things uh, generate. Um, we've got an average time on this 20 acre site with about 80 photos, or I think actually I think there was 87 photos of about three to four hours for the point cloud creation. Uh, just to give you a little background, it took us about eight minutes to fly this site once we had the drone set up. Uh, it did not take very long to set up the drone. So just a little bit of background. So now what we need to do is just wait for the image. So I actually have a cloud that's already been generated, so we won't wait on this one. I'll show you one that we've already got generated. So I'll open up and show you one that I've downloaded. So in order to take a look at the cloud that was generated with Recap360, we open up a product called Remake, Autodesk Remake. We're going to just visually look at the cloud with Remake. It's a very friendly uh, way to view and start to work with the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and select Load Model. And as you can see here, I have one that is, I have an RCM file that's called John Sony 350 Survey Control. This is I have added all of the control that we talked about in the Civil 3D drawing to this particular cloud. So I'll go ahead and hit OK and it brings in my mesh. And I can take a look at the point cloud itself and what it's generated. So inside of Remake, basically we're just taking a look at what, uh, what our point cloud looks like. And we can see it does a fine job at creating that, that point cloud. So we can kind of pan around, zoom. The controls are a little bit different. Um, if you're used to using InfraWorks 360, the, the controls are going to be much like that. Um, but you can see it does a very nice job of creating the point cloud from the stitched photos. So now in the next video, we'll talk about how we can bring this point cloud into InfraWorks 360 and start to utilize the information from it. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hope that it's helped you. Have a great day.